you know, broke people have different accounts. Omo mm. Eco Bank, Barclays, Stamp, Big. Ni na five five CD, five five CD. No, I'm sorry, I'm a bank account. Oh boy. So it means that I have signs of being a rich person. I just have one bank account. Yeah. How many zeros do you have? How many zeros? In my bank account. Yes. How many zeros are we supposed to have? How many zeros do you have? Um, there is only one zero in the in the uh, numbers. Right. Onika <laughs> pre. Beautiful people, welcome to another episode of your favorite entertainment podcast. You already know the name when you hear the voice. My name is King Kweku Mensah, the voice you've been hearing for 10 solid episodes. This is episode 11 of Showbiz University. Welcome. In case this is your first time listening to this entertainment podcast, where have you been all this while? But then again, this is what we do on Showbiz University. We give you gist. We talk about entertainment topics and everything in between. So we have lecture time where we discuss entertainment topics or speak to your favorite personalities. And we have gist corner where three headlines, three hot topics trending in the world of entertainment will be discussed. We also have my weekend playlist where I give you 10 banging songs you can listen to from Friday straight up to Sunday. Yes, to fill up your weekend. Then we have your mind day segment where we read a question or we put out something now and you share your opinion on it. We'll read it out just like that. So these put together a showbiz university. And as I said, my name is King Kweko Mensa. Let's zoom straight into lecture time. Anyway, so on lecture time today, I have a very special guest joining me. Last episode, which was episode 10, we did start a conversation on uh, the impact of social media or social media marketing. You heard the voice of Kweku Tweet and uh, that of Dakman Papu. But today, we are zooming into TikTok since we've done social media marketing and all that. But today, we want to speak to... I'll call her TikTok queen. She calls herself fine girls in our class prefect. That means all the beautiful girls in Ghana, she is their class prefect. She would have to explain why she gave herself that title. But Felicia Say is my guest lecturer on lecture time today. Felicia, how are you doing? Cool, cool. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. Nice to hear. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not, I, I wasn't supposed to start the conversation like this, but many people who watch your TikTok think you can speak English. They think I can't speak English or they think I can speak English. No, they think you can't speak English. I can't speak English. And is it compulsory to know how to speak English? No, you know you do your TikToks in Chi and all that. So, I don't know. You know Ghanaians, sometimes they say that. Jokes on them. Jokes on them. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, tell us, uh, to those who do not know who Felicia say is listening to you for the first time on Showbiz University. It's actually our first time having you on the podcast, Yeah. Yes, I'm Felicia Say, fine girls in your class prefect. I'm a TikTok content creator and then I am a radio personality on Onuya FM 95.1 FM and the host of Ajume Juma. Yeah, so yeah. Right, so... That's what Felicia Say is. So run us through your journey. Why? I know lockdown, everyone was bored and TikTok came around and we decided most of us, except me, I don't know why I'm not on TikTok yet, but most of you decided to hop on TikTok and it became a whole sensation in Ghana. Created some celebrities from it. But tell me why you joined TikTok. I think I joined TikTok because I was a little bored from... Um, I wouldn't say I joined TikTok during lockdown, no. I was doing stand-up before I came to TikTok. So during the lockdown, the clubs and the restaurants closed down. So I had to do something. And since I'm good at making people laugh, I also hopped on the trend and then... Here I am. So why did you choose TikTok and not any other social media platform? I mean, there is YouTube, there is Instagram, there is Facebook, there is uh, even Twitter. Okay. Okay. I'm on, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, but I think TikTok was more relatable to what I wanted to do. And I could connect really with my audience. I could do video for them and they, they comment on it. I could make instant video out of the comments they, they gave me. So it was something I could really relate to. That's why I joined TikTok instead. So can you tell us about your journey as a social media influencer or you're not a social media influencer yet? I am. I am. I've, I've always been a social media influencer. Um, I joined this thing, this TikTok thing in 2020. I'm so sure. Um, it hasn't been bad at all. For me, it has been nothing but but a blessing because who I am today started from TikTok. Yes, so it's been good, very good for me. So how did you decide that 
you will stick to, as you said, you like making people laugh. How did you decide that you stick to this content? And even with that, did you ever think that this will make me blow? Like when you were doing it? I believe very few people know where they are going when they start something. I am not part of those few people. I didn't know I'll get here when I started doing funny videos. I knew I was just putting videos out there for people to laugh and relate to. But what I got in return is something that blew my mind and everybody else's. You can testify to that. So yes, I didn't know I would get here. So no, I didn't know. It's interesting. So how do you stay authentic and uh, connect to your audience amidst like these old content and posts and all that? Like you stick to your game. You're doing this and doing that only despite other contents coming to you. I think to be original, you need to be yourself. Look at the likes of Sakodi. Look at the likes of other original people, Satawali. There are lots of um, trends that come and go. But if you be yourself, you never lose focus. So being myself has really helped me through this journey. Yes. Right. Now, let's switch uh, the conversation and talk about TikTok and its uh, impact on the entertainment industry. You know, some few years ago, there were conversations that some TikTokers raised said that without TikTok, most of the music videos or even most of the sounds that are out there wouldn't have blown like that. Some people were saying TikTok has had immense uh, impact in their music careers and all that. Would you testify to that? I, I let all agree to disagree. They have their reasons why they said that. And if you want to agree with them, you have your reasons why you want to agree. If you don't want to agree with them, you have your reasons for not being in agreement with them. How about you? How about me, Sesen? <laughs> Sesen saying. No, like... Well, what about you? Do you agree? I'm just saying, let's all agree to disagree. If you agree with the statement they made years ago, it's fine. If you don't agree with them, let's not argue. Mm. Because a lot of musicians also said that um, TikTok has really contributed to their songs being blown and also going viral. And most of them also said, eh, kasa kasa keke, they didn't help. And they say, see, and most of the TikTokers and other content creators are much jive music promoting. And he, since they've stopped, have you seen the difference when they started? Did you see the difference? Let's do the comparing and then contrasting. Whatever be the case, you have the answers. I don't know what to add to whatever they said. Yeah. But as an influencer, yeah. uh, what are your thoughts on social media and uh, using social media as a form of activism to preach good social cause and all that reason why i'm saying that is there are there is a school of thought that says ghana's tiktok and nigeria's tiktok is just filled with comedians mm. uh, when you go to china the algorithm is different when you go to us the algorithm is different but when you come to ghana it's like tiktok is just for laughs and all that you guys are not promoting any social change you're not making what do you have to say about that Whoever feels they want to promote social change or whatever, I think they have their phones, they have their cameras. So why don't you start? I think if you believe you can do something, you should start from home. Charity begins at home. So that's madness. A damn shall say free free. Proper damn free free. So if you believe so, Bagana is the same content, funny skates, Nigeria is the same funny skates. That's not, it's not China, why? Because your phone is yours, you buy the data yourself. So if you think you are tired of Ghanaian TikTok content creators and not a Nigerian TikTok, Stay, stay with the like, Chinese Chinese people. They say this is share mobile phones and yada yada. They they brag Ghana. Now also best that's a trend. Now you see follow. If you are we haven't really thought about changing the trend. And I say whatever we think it's all about making people laugh, releasing stress. So hey Ghana, hey Nigeria, now hey today you home it na. Hey Syria, now also yesterday. You can't do anything but laugh. You know. But do you have people come to you and be like, Felicia, I think you should change the kind of content you put on your TikTok and maybe do something different. We are tired of your one way. Do you have comments like that coming coming to you? I don't have any one way content in my videos. I do whatever I feel is fine. I do whatever I feel is not abusing anybody. I'm not there to bully or I'm not there to abuse. So the fact that I'm entertaining and entertaining people with different kinds of content, nobody has ever said anything like that to me because they love me. I love them too. So nothing like that. I've always wanted to ask you this. Uh, when I watch your videos, it's so relatable. It's like real life incidents and you're talking about it. Relationship, money, school, house, family, everything. Is it like, uh, is it that you're using your life story and you're sharing it or you're just making up the stories? 
I make most of them up, but most of them are from my personal life. Mm. Yes, because I'm a student. I'm 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 somebody's serious girlfriend. I'm somebody's side chick. You know. Are you serious right now? Are you playing? You are somebody's serious girlfriend and somebody's side chick too, and you definitely, know that. Definitely, aren't you somebody's side nigga? You know that. Don't you, aren't you somebody's side nigga? No, I'm not. You are not. You are. I'm just... I'm, I'm one guy, one lady kind of person. You you don't know. Maybe your your boy your girlfriend might even be somebody else's main. You know. You like, let's let's wait 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 wait. This is my podcast. You can't hijack me on my podcast. No, you cannot hijack me on my podcast. Wait. Let's focus on the topic. You're not being real. You're not being real. Aren't you somebody side dude? Aren't no, I'm not. You are just shy. You don't want your audience to know you are you are doing mate in your own relationship. Carry on to the next this thing. Wait, oh, I'm asking you, are you using your life story or you're making up the story? And now you're putting it on me. Oh my god. Isn't this supposed to be a conversation? Uh-huh. Interaction. Uh-huh. And I mean you'll be side nigga. Oh fairy. When you woo. So you make some of the stories up? Yes, most of them. Mm. But most of them are personal. Like I was there when it happened. Okay. Can you share one of, or let me ask you, which which of your stories or which of your videos would you say made you popular, very popular? Made me popular. Yeah. Made me popular. I think it was, uh, do I even remember? I have three videos that made me very popular. I have the one I, I did, I was talking about them. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't want to forget the, the words because it's, it's there to me, it's valuable to me. I'm saying, oh, be, oh, boy, it's a boy, family. Now, relationship, I'm a man, I'm I'm a man, 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 I didn't do it. You did it. I'm asking you, what do you think? Well, you just said that you make some of the stories up and some are from real life experience. So I am asking you, so this is a real life experience, yes? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, well, I think... Can I beat somebody? Can I be, do I look like somebody who can beat somebody? Oh, you can have people to beat somebody. This is Ghana. I won't throw away money like that. I won't throw away money. No, no, no. Okay, so you can't beat the lady, but someone came for you and left the girlfriend. Yes. Whatever you think. <laughs> anyway, so that is one of the videos that made you finish your say on TikTok. Yes, yes, yes. And the other one was, my boss, I would share my signature. I would share my signature. So my signature was actually so scarier than the boss's signature. What I say? But my signature is not big. There's nothing in the bank account. And the next thing, in um, the next of kin was calling me to come in take her name from the uh, thing because she started empty bank account they don't put my name in that thing so yeah mm. I think people related because most of us we are broke most of us yes. but you have you know broke people have different accounts mm. or more eco bank back list stamp big you know 55 CD 55 CD no I'm sorry I'm a bank account oh, boy. Oh, boy. so it means that I have signs of being a rich person I just have one bank account um, um. Uh, Zenith Bank when you know has a baby account is, is, do you have uh, how many zeros do you have? How many zeros in my bank account? Yes. How many zeros are we supposed to have? How many zeros do you have? Um, there is only one zero in the in the uh, numbers. Right, only capre. <laughs> anyway, so talking about most of you being broke and all that. Most of us, I said, uh, you, are, you are part. Not most of you, you are part. Most of us, mm-hmm. most of the youth are broke. Aren't you broke? No, I'm not. I'm on, I'm on my way to making money. I'm not hey. I'm not broke yet. Then you are lost on your way. <laughs> you know, I, I believe in word affirmations and power of positivity. So I am not broke. I am on my way to making money. To making money. Say it that way. All right. I, I don't have the money I can give you right now, but I'm on my way to making money. <laughs> anyway. It's broker than broke. You know? It's broker than broke. <laughs> so with that, I've been to parties where I've seen some TikTokers come there. The TikTok content creators. Oh, it's not TikTokers. Okay, thanks for the correction. So TikTok content creators. Yes. So how come the, the, there is a word like that on the internet, TikTokers? Uh, media, media, I'm representing them. Into, you know, what they want to be called is what I'll call them. T- they are content creators. So do you have like an association or something? I do not have. I don't know about them, but I don't have. So as I was saying, they come to the party and you see them, you'll be like, okay, these are stars 
how they dress, how they carry themselves, composure, how they behave at the party and all that. But then again, you meet them also elsewhere and be like, yo, this guy is just like me. He's standing there buying cocoa. You shouldn't buy cocoa. Because you are starting to buy cocoa. No, I'm just saying. So is it that you guys form or pose as personalities in some certain places no, no, no. and go back to default? No, 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 no. It's just like me. Um, you might invite me for a program. You don't expect me to come looking like how I'm seated right now. Because cameraman, beba ho, bloggers, beba ho. And the, the moment you, you stand, you, you portray yourself as an influencer or a content creator, people look up to you. No matter who you are. Uba Bontina, you have the numbers. People look up to you automatically. People are expecting you to step out clean. What I say? The fact that you make people laugh doesn't mean you are supposed to step out with powder on your face. And I say with your shoe tied around your neck. You're supposed to step out clean because you're not going to create content. You are going to represent yourself in other um, places. In this my real part in it, in the me go to cocoa, no me share, me share jacket, no me share chain, no me share spare. Nothing. So you're not supposed to buy cocoa in the first place. Order, order food. As you order. Na me da kasi me me pe. Young girl, the mama me wanna see. No me da trim. When I order, how can I tell them? Say, I watch a ramp. Mama shoot on it. They are not. How can I tell them? Because oh, that is just on the phone. You are being gentle. But me order, me could you know what they are? You see, I get to pick the kind of meat I want to buy. I want to chew. So you don't side with those who are saying there is a fake life being lived on social media. What is fake life about me going to buy food by the roadside? Oh, no, not that. By posing as a rich person, driving this car, that if, car. If people borrow cars. Lots of big stars borrow cars. What do I say? It doesn't mean the person is being fake. Some some people, the fact that some people are living fake life, fake life doesn't mean all of us are living fake. Say me ko bebina, I don't have a car right now. At the, at the moment I'm talking with you, koku mini car. But say me ko bebina, me huna me huna tremia. Me chumia ko rent car. Say me debe kosi because me huna me abe door so me she say me huna adi adi. Say debe be convenient for myself and the people around me. Now I have to go and borrow a car. Me huko high no borrow like high. And I say me wada unfobi no kasi Felicia. Uko program beje ne kwa. Na me kujeko na se next time huna me chacho ma. Am I being fake? No. That's what they will say. Because the last time they saw you in a car, this time they are seeing you in a church. What if the car broke down? What What if the car got spoiled? Like, why? Why owe anybody an explanation? Don't attack me. We are, we are having a conversation. I'm not attacking you. I'm just being real. Say, it is someone who said, and I'm at Rolls Royce. I'm not being fake. I'm not being fake. I'm being myself. I'm not being fake. I'm being myself. See, I'm not being fake. I'm not being fake. I'm being myself. See, I'm not being fake. 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 i it's me. That is me being me. Me sorry, so I'm saying that my brain to me because struggle with structure for me. But I'm other right. Now the message, you mama, it's me being myself. And just I'm being fake, and I be be. No, 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 no. And for all they're doing things they can't afford. But me to me afford it. Structure me to me afford it. Nice ride to work. But I'm being fake. I don't just say I'm being fake, and I say I'm doing things I cannot afford. If you can't afford what you are doing to yourself, that's when you are being fake. If you can't afford the life you are living. That is being fake. But if you are, you can afford, but you want to be you, you're not being fake. Right. What? But does this uh, social media influencer life, does it pay? Yes. Does it pay to be an influencer? Yes, it pays. It pays. We do ads. It pays. Yes, it pays. Mm. Yeah. How much? Don't give me figures here. Okay. They, they, might, they, they might come to your bank account. Mm. But I don't even have a bank account. Most box, but I don't have it. Well, no. I thought you said you have five bank accounts. Yeah, I'm, 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 talking, I'm representing TikTok. So I'm, t- I'm representing the content creators. And I'm talking for them. Yeah, me and Kasa personally, I don't have any bank accounts. What day? Susu box. Okay, so they might come for your susu box. But uh, in your journey as a social media influencer, yeah. how much money would you say you've made? You can round it around this figure, around that figure. Would you say you've made or what impact? Mm-hmm. Okay, you see, I can give you the figure, exact figure. I can give you approximate figures. Mm-hmm. But me ma low figure, because, hey, into game, we send a boy for some ma big, because we're joining a I've made money. I've mm. like me nye gidi gidi gidi, but kakrebiya me de befe faka ne me de be ye me hong kamadi. I have I've made it. Take someone like me. Yeah. How do I also become a social media influencer? I think you need to watch a lot of content creators. How they are doing their stuff. I'm sitting with one here, so you tell me. Be yourself. Do whatever you think will will, will attract viewers. Yeah. Yeah. That's the advice you give anyone who wants yes. to vent. Yes, yes. Don't be abusive. Mm. Some people think being abusive, you know, negativity sells. Mm. You know that, right? Mm. Yeah, but take care from me. Don't be abusive. It's not. It's not nice. Yeah. 
uh, how your tone dropped when you were saying that is like you've lived an experience like that where someone tried to bully you, bully you on social media. Yes, you can bully me. People come at me, but say bully, dear. Say bully. What do you mean by bully? Like, as you said, come at you, try to talk you down, tell you something that yeah, 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 yeah. projects their fears on you. People are better. You know, people are better in this world you are living in. You that you are not on social media, because I said they are better to you. Yeah, and it's life. Some, some, I say, some will hate you, some will like you. Pim pim bedo, pim pim bed time will. Say pim pim bedo will do it. Say pim pim time will do it. So as we are living beings there, let's expect everything some. Mm. Yeah. But how do you balance your uh, personal life with your social life? Is there like a difference between Felicia or say on uh, social media and Felicia or say that we see around? Not really difference. Like, there's a thin difference, but not really, really different. No, no, no. There's no difference in sharing name. No, 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 no. I'm trying to add to you because English, English, English is not my brand. What does it It won't sound like me. But this is an English podcast. To buy each in every one, bruh. To buy the teacher, if you in every No, no, no. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, so let's let's do some few questions, a few more questions, then we wrap up. We're about ending the lecture time, but there are a lot of misconceptions about this whole social media influencer kind of lifestyle. That is what I, w- I, I was asking you earlier, but do you think there is anything that people believe social media influencers do that you know as an influencer, you know that this is not true. We don't do this, but on social media or what people are saying on the street, they think we do this instead. You get what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I get to say now, okay, say, um, we live fake life now. Mm-hmm. People think we live fake life because um, you dress it fine, echo programs, so who you have we are not looking that fly. You don't expect me to be wearing um, eyelashes 247. You don't expect me to be wearing makeup. To, no, 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 no. Yeah. So that's a mis- misconception that you want to change? Yeah, say we are, we are, we are fake. We are not, yeah. Anyway, so thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, I enjoyed this conversation, although it was a little bit short. And you were trying to attack me on me, my own podcast. I take it. Uh, but another time, we'll bring you another TikTok as around. Then we talk some more. How, how, what, what do you think? It would be a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, guys, Felicia Say was my guest lecturer on Lecture Time on Showbiz University. Noella is here to bring you three headlines in the world of entertainment. So Noella is here to bring us three hot headlines in the world of entertainment. Noella, what's up? Well, lots of things have been happening. Um, you know, every single day there's something that's happening in the news. But today I'm just going to cut it down to three. Some of the things that are, you know, being discussed on Twitter. So, I mean, first off, when the year starts, one of the, you know, music awards that we look up to is three music. Because I would have gone to music awards for some time now. And then, so this year, people were looking forward. Was three music, three music happening? But very recently, I think yesterday, there was a... Um, a statement that was released, uh, a formal statement from a press release that was, you know, making the waves on Twitter that they've postponed this year's Three Music Awards to next year. Now, in there, according to them, they say that the Three Music Awards has garnered immense recognition as a premier celebration of music talent captivating audiences and enthusiasts alike. Now, as a testament to our unwavering commitment to excellence, we believe that rescheduling the event to 2024 will ensure that Three Music Awards remains unrivaled experience within the industry. So, basically, are saying that they feel like it's the best thing to move it to next year so they can gather more sponsorship do it bigger like people are expected and even more bigger and be able to meet the expectations of the audiences so if you're looking for us to do music this year sorry guy you might want to save the dress for next year or something like save up money for next year Probably <laughs> that would help a lot. So that's that's coming from the camp of the three music networks, and then also interestingly, so I'm sure a lot of people remember the BET Awards, you know, where they honored, you know, for 50 years. This this year is actually 50 years hip hop, you know, where it ever came out, and I feel like it's it's a very huge milestone that should be celebrated. So as part of activities for that celebration, we had the BET Awards where they honored Buster Rhymes, you know, in his emotional speech. I was tearing up, oh, so emotional, hard guy crying. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as part of it, they're releasing a Netflix documentary. Now, this documentary has got people talking. Because Why? Because of the lineup in there. Now, the 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 theme of the story, the speech that came with the video says that in line with the activities to celebrate the hip-hop at 50, Netflix is set to release a limited documentary about women who have contributed to hip-hop over the years. 
Now, these women that are contributing to hip hop is the question people are asking because their names and people grew up listening to in hip hop and the names are not in there. I'm just going to run through the names in there quickly. So there's Sharrock, there's Roxanne, there's MC Like, Queen Latifah, Remy Ma, Yo Yo, The Brat, you know, so many Money Love, Tierra, Cash Doll, Saweetie, Lato, Rhapsody. They're all in there. But people are asking, wait, Lato. Yo yo, so it those are new school female. Exactly. And names that people are expecting, like Missy Elliott, Nicki Minaj, are not in there. And people are asking why Lauren Hill is not in there. Why? <laughs> we just the same question every single person. Is. Like who wrote this script for? Who wrote the documentary script? Who did it? We need to find that person. Unless maybe they have an explanation, maybe to say that it's going to be a part two and this is a part one. I was about to say that. I'm trying to give them the benefits of the doubt. But if this is the only video, they need to give us some explanation as to why these people are not in there. Because Missy Elliott, like what are you trying to say? I was about to say maybe this is for new school and they'll do another one for old school. But they mentioned MC Light and Queen Latifah in this. Yeah. And those are OGs, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, well, I don't know. There, ha- there has to be an explanation. Maybe, hopefully, sometime. when the Maybe when the actual documentary drops, it will come with an explanation. Everybody will be at ease. But right now, Twitter is buzzing. <laughs> like, Twitter is on fire at the moment. So, definitely, that's going to be the same. But finally, I'm just excited for this particular one because Kitty, we, we are very much aware, you know, when the year started in February, he took a long break. He's like, oh, two months, three months. He was away and per what he came to say after, you know, he had to attend to some personal issues, aside the health issues, he had to take time off to recoup, you know, because the creative process is, is a very tiring one. So he needed to, even though people had their own views of that, that's their own problem. But he's back. I mean, when he came, he dropped the song I Lied and this time he's back with another banger that I'm super excited about. And I'm not just excited because it's Kitty's song, but because he put one of like my favorite, favorite, everybody's favorite on the song. Still Stone good again. And I feel like that's that's I, I tweeted this morning that you know one of the greatest things, one of the things that an artist can have is knowing who to feature on a song. And this has shown that you know Kitty's touring that line because listen, when you listen to the song, I feel like it's that kind of song that'll grow on you. You're gonna be listening, even when you listen for the first time, you get something little and then you keep listening, you keep listening, and like, okay, that's the jam, you know. So I'm very excited about it. Um, the video has already been shot i believe but it hasn't been dropped yet but the audio is out you know just go there he calls it uh liquor lick how can i forget he made he made it to my top 10 weekend bangers so yeah how can i forget like oh, oh God, i'm giving the song i forgot the title oh my god yeah so liquor liquor in quotes whatever the liquor is meaning whether it's a liquor liquor or the liquor or the name of the it was spelled funny too l-i-k-o-r right so you know it's part of the creative process so we're definitely looking forward to the video hopefully it's going to be a good one because he's, he's been giving us you know and i had his hair back to black so <laughs> AJ, thank you so much. So that was a Joan Noella, or she says as you call her Noella. Wait, just corner. Thank you so much. Your mind this segment is next. I mean the worldly people. I'm not trying to say Lucifer. We are with the guy. Something is wrong with you. On your mind day segment this week, uh, I am asking you, have you guys seen the video making rounds with actress Kafui Danku passing a statement or an advice to ladies? So if you've not, she says until you're married to the gentleman you are in a relationship right now she does not think it is right for you to be cooking for him for you to be washing his clothes for him for you to be visiting him and performing all the wife duties as a girlfriend according to her you are a maid if you offer such services you get it so i am asking you listening to me right now do you think cooking for your boyfriend not your husband boyfriend of yasi washing for your boyfriend or fiancé makes you a maid guys too would you what would you do if your girlfriend comes to you and be like until you marry me i am not cooking or washing for you anymore what will be your response so hop into the comment section or hop in, hop on social media make sure you use the hashtag as i always say make sure you use the hashtag showbiz uni hashtag showbiz uni and i'll find your comment and read it 
on our next episode. So I'm asking you, if your girlfriend walks up to you and tell you that she's not cooking or washing or doing any wife duties until you make her a wife, what, what will be your reaction as a boyfriend? And also the girls... Would you do that? Would you listen to Kafui Danku's advice? Let me know in that. We can play Lester's up next, guys. So on weekend playlist today, 10 banging songs, Charlie. Uh, good news coming up. Let me let me give you hints on this. So in Nigeria, Adekule Gold uh, will be dropping his album, Tequila Forever After today friday and uh amrado and strongman has an ep coming up today yes so you guys can check those out but on my top 10 banging songs you should listen to this weekend to the gospel people Dinah hamilton has a song out titled say amen so some kind of vibe for you on a sunday morning or when you close from church you can listen to Dinah hamilton's uh say amen on a friday morning before you go out saturday before you wash you can do that Dinah hamilton say amen, amen. let the church say amen oh, amen Say amen, oh, amen, oh. I speak this word by faith and call it done, no. Oh. Hey, let the church say amen, oh. Amado, as I said, released a single of the EP and he featured Strongman on it. Uh, the title of the song is called Rap Is Still Alive. It's a 100% rap song. Amado, I'm, I'm excited for the EP though. Yeah, let it come out. Let's let's take a listen to how these people are going to murder it. But Amrado, Strongman, Rap Is Still Alive. Stay true and winning. Hip-hop said I'm loyal. I punch with aggression. Oscar de la Hoya. But you're going to watch them. I'm a chance. Say, get to get him. If I'm a go, I will play. Respect to the legends for raising the banner. Say, say, whoop him. My killer. Mini Bala. Pisa, who's the baddest? Go back to me, I said, do be than your crowd or Ghana. Yeah, yeah, you never did see what's right. You real sure you know to see what's left. And uh, Black Sharif has two songs out that he didn't release on his own. According to him, it was leaked. But the songs are banging regardless. So song number one, Let Me Go My Way. Black Sharif, Let Me Go My Way. Let me go my way. And song number two, Black Sharif again, Slay Queens. When you miss a bad bitch, it's so hey. And you hear me, my boy, see you down from there. When you miss a bad guy, see you. Has also released a new song and he featured Stoneboy on it. Has a nice dance to it. It's called Liko. L I K O R. Liko. Number six, RJZ with a sad song out. He titles Emotional Murder. You fuck me up on the level, let me cannot forgive you now. Now who the hell are you to think you are better or bigger than? Or you are bad at man? Me, I feel see you animal. Chop my heart like a cannibal. Serial emotional murder. You are like who mad? It's UG official. UG also has a song out titled Chosen. Hey, this feeling like when your heart feels frozen, it's the life of the chosen. Ooh, hate this feeling like I'm broken. When your heart feels frozen, it's the life of the chosen. With my number seven song for the week, Floating Stone by my side. Floating Stone by my side. I don't wanna pray, give me answer. To the street boys and everyone who's hustling, this song of my number eight for my top ten banging songs for the weekend, my weekend playlist, Yao Hero. Brafie. On social media, a gentleman shared how your hero's Brafie song kind of told his story, like A to Z. You leave home to feed home and you don't make it. I mean, 
where your whole intention is to go hustle, become a rich person. But when you get to the street, you know the street is cold. Braffier, number nine song. They say, Nia, he the stubborn son. He left for us where he never come. If you see him on the road, don't tell him Braffier. Nia, he the stubborn son. He left for us where he never come. If you see him on the road, don't tell him Braffier. Then my last song for the week, Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy is more Ghanaian than Nigerian, but we'll take it. Mr. Easy has a new song out called Chop Time, No Friend. See anything I touch the entire continental, sentimental and monumental period. Like a dot. Go see you me a be more dumb. So let me run you through my top 10 songs again. Diana Hamilton starts my top 10 with Say Amen. Amrado comes with Strong Man on a song they called Rap Is Still Alive. Black Sharif has two songs on my top 10. Number one is Let Me Go My Way and number two is Slay Queen. And Kitty features Stoneboy on a brand new song they call Liquor. Our Jay-Z Emotional Murder. Juji Chosen. Floating Stone By My Side. Your Hero Berthier and Mr. Easy's Chop Time No Friend. On that note, that's how we wrap up today's episode of showbiz university my name has always been king kweku mensa we meet on another episode until then good vibes and positive energy make sure you follow us on social media use the hashtag showbiz uni and we'll find you peace out